ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, comedian, entertainer, Daniel Songer. You know, I made it up to 239 comedy acts, and everybody's saying he's back. Well, Comedy Act 240 is don't look back. I'm telling you, don't look back. It was the most beautiful night I have ever felt. A cool breeze and the touch of love blowing in the wind. I looked up to see this amazing star. It was so close to the earth. I counted one point. Two points, three points, four points, five points. I thought to myself, could this be a magical sign to show me the wonderful gift of love? Wonder, wonder who, who wrote the book of love? Do you wonder? I wonder who wrote the book of love? Wonder. So I went out and bought the most powerful telescope I could find. When I looked up to the star, I seen myself looking down on me, smiling and waving. Wave across the water, water, wave across the sky. Come on, everybody. Wave across the water. I stepped back from the telescope with fear. Escaping the chill from my bones, I looked back at the star. A feeling came over me that I was looking into a parallel world. As I looked up at myself, I could actually see the words spoken to me. Wish upon this star and you will find your dreams afar. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue birds fly, and the dreams that you dare to why, oh why, can't I? I began to glow when my wish entered my thoughts. And as I spoke these words, I was transferred to the star. And then I knew we had traded places. My parallel world twin was about to meet my life. And I was on the adventure of a lifetime. I found the stories from Earth were true. He had seven wives. Of course, they weren't virgins. Like a virgin. Touched for the very first time. Like a virgin. Seven heartbeats. Next to mine. I was sad to put my parallel world twin in solitude and utter chaos on the planet Earth. But we did the crisscross and now let the adventure begin. I was always good in sports, but here I was the ace at everything. I dreamed that one day I would be a great entertainer. How could I ever know that I would gain great recognition from a parallel universe? Somehow a change began to happen throughout this parallel world. I thought to myself, could it be me? Could it be me now? Could it? Could it? Could it be me now? Could it be me? I thought to myself, I began to make an impact on the people 
And their thoughts led them to the question. And you're wondering, what's the question, Dan? What's the question? Well, it led them to the question. Where are you from? Man, did this sound familiar. Earthlings have the same sight. They do, man. Earthlings, they have the same sight. I'm not from this world, and Earth just doesn't get me. So I went back to the star window, hoping my parallel world twin was watching. All I could see was a beam of light. And when we did the crisscross, I could see him holding up his middle finger. Man, I'm not kidding you. Now I'm back to let you know I can really shake them down. Do you love me? Parallel universe, do you love me? Not knowing the impact he made here, I arrived to find a 10-foot wall around my house, and there was a sign on the telescope. Don't look back! So I tore the wall down, brick by brick, stone by stone, I tore it down, brick by brick. And I sold the telescope. I then painted a portrait of my face on my roof, just in case. You know what I mean? Just in case. Can you imagine that? A portrait of my face. <laughs> you know? Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, and the dreams that you dare to really do come true. Do you love me? Don't look back, do you love me? Don't look back, 